Uh, well, credit to, to Tennessee. They're a really talented team. Um, they're well coached. I think Holly does a, a really good job with this group of, of making you prepare for a lot of different looks. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm extremely proud of our group, how they competed. And, you know, we, we got down. We, we made some uncharacteristic mistakes in the first half that kind of gave them a a little cushion and I, I was really proud of how our group responded out of the halftime and uh, made it made it a really good game put ourselves in position to win and you know just a couple plays down the stretch that that you know didn't go our way but um, credit to Tennessee for for being you know I thought they played pretty well today and um, proud of our group for their effort their toughness Coach, you outscored Tennessee in the paint, 50 to 34, and just kept getting to the rim. Did they just not adjust to what you guys were doing? How that play just kept opening wide up? Uh, yeah, I guess um, we expected to be able to get a lot of those baskets inside. Um, you know, especially off of back cuts, we knew that they were going to pressure and they were going to force us to back cut and. Um, we felt if we keep the floor spaced, we might get some of those. And I thought our credits, our, our players, I didn't draw any of those up. That was uh, those guys making plays, you know, sitting next to me. Those guys knowing how to play. And um, I'm, I'm just so proud of my team for how they kept their composure and executed against a really, really athletic and, and aggressive defense. Coach, it looked like in the in the uh, that third quarter, too, you were – you were kind of out toughing him and out hustling him too. You guys got on the boards, and I don't know if, if, if I mean, was do you think that was just maybe carry over from what you were doing on the other end? Maybe it just gives you that much more juice to do those sort of things. Yeah, I, I think they're definitely connected. I mean, the better the better you play uh, on the offensive end of the floor, I think it's easier to be a little more scrappy defensively. I will say, um, you know, going into the game, we we knew we couldn't do anything about the how long their arms and legs were, but we could always control how hard we competed. And I felt like our, our team did a great job in the second half of, of competing and you know, just making some really gutsy plays. Tennessee's length is, is gonna bother a lot of people and, and it was really hard to deal with down there. But I'm, I'm extremely proud of our, our young women for they didn't back down an inch and I'm proud of them. Ellie, you guys at one point were beating Tennessee to the boards. I mean, I know they nicked you at the end, but for the most part, you guys were winning that board battle. Was it positioning? Was it getting to the glass quicker? How were you guys able to do that? Well, we knew going into this game that rebounding was going to be a huge component um, in our success. And obviously, like, I can't out jump any one of those girls on that team. It's just not going to happen. But um, the positioning is what I really focused on with rebounding and getting there before they got there and pushing them out of the way to, to get those rebounds is something that I was really focusing on versus just out jumping them because that was something I, w I wasn't going to do that. So, But yeah, positioning to answer your question is what I was focused on. Great. Any, did, did you expect to have so much success inside in terms of against a team like Tennessee? Was that something that you guys saw early or something you could take advantage of? Um, well, they they had to they well, they didn't have to they chose to play really small and for them small is still bigger than us at every position but they they chose to play small um, for a lot of stretches there in the, in the second half and um, so we we were able to get some stuff to Ellie and, and to Maddie inside on post ups but most of our inside stuff was was the back cut the the dribble drive with the floor spaced so. Um, we we did expect that because of how they how they guard and pressure the ball. Darby, y'all didn't come in here for any moral victories. I mean, you're disappointed that you lost, but do you walk out of here knowing you definitely competed? Yeah, I mean, we we came in here expecting to win. I think uh, Coach Bart does a really good job of um, building us up and helping us to believe in each other, believe in him, believe in. Belmont and what we're doing and so we came in here ready to win um, but honestly it's a it's a really it's encouraging it is we're we're gonna we're gonna take uh, this game and we're gonna learn from it and keep moving forward and um, I think playing games like this is only gonna help us uh, in our conference and down the road when we're 
um, hopefully in a big time game in March. Darby, your coach was talking about you guys were kind of calling some of those plays yourself that, that allowed you to get to the rim. What were you guys doing? What were you guys seeing uh, in, in terms of what you were doing strategically there? Um, well, our offense really sets us up well to move and to play off of each other and to just make reads. And I think that um, that's something that we've started clear back in June is understanding that um, whatever, however, no matter what, no matter how they play us, we're going to have an option and we're going to have reads. And if we can continue to um, continue to make the right read and make the right play and do it over and over and over again throughout the course of a game, then um, we're going to get good shots and they're going to go down. And so um, I think it's a testament to um, Coach Bart. It's a testament to uh, my teammates that um, we've just continued to buy into what our offense is and how we play.